The Franklin WH app allows you to remotely monitor and control your Franklin Home Power FHP system at any time from anywhere. You can set personalized energy saving strategies for your home. On the home screen, you can see the real-time status of your Franklin FHP system. In the upper right corner, you can access all the system notifications and warnings. You can view the overall picture of your home energy flow in real time, easily see how much power your solar panels are producing, and how much of that power is charging the battery, servicing home loads, and being fed back to the grid. Scroll down to see the basic status of the A power batteries, discharging, charging, or standby, and the state of charge of the battery system. Click this icon to review more information if you have multiple A power batteries installed. Click here to back to the home screen. The colored bars show the period of operation for each energy source. For example, the orange line displays the solar production from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. The shade of color reflects the power, and darker color means more power. It's a quick view of the day's energy distribution. Backup remaining tells how long your FHP can supply power under current loads if there is a grid outage. The FHP has a microgrid forming capability that can have the solar system charge the batteries when required, which means you may have a longer backup time. Toggle this icon to review the current day's energy production and consumption details. There are four icons on the top of the page, Home, FHP, Grid, and Solar. You can tap on each icon to review the power curve for home consumption and for each power source. The height of this blue curve indicates the power demand at any point in time, measured in kilowatts, and can be zoomed into a 5-minute interval of data. Click the FHP icon to see the green curve, which shows how the FHP batteries are being charged and discharged during the day. And here, the grid icon displays a purple curve showing the power you consumed from and fed back to the grid. The last icon displays the solar energy production curve, which, as no surprise, is massive during the day. Scrolling down, you can review the calculated usage representing the total energy consumed and produced throughout the day, measured in kilowatt hours. If you would like to review yesterday's or other day's history, here is quick access to the history data which also can be found on the side menu. Click the upper left corner of the main page to access the side menu. The history data provides a breakdown of how you have produced and consumed energy. Each power icon can be touched to hide or display the corresponding curve. The blue curve shows the home power demand changes. You can see the power has a spike from 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. This shows your electric vehicle was set to charge in the off-peak hours. And the second spike at around noon for your lunch. There is high demand in the evening when the household is cooking dinner, watching TV, and doing laundry. Click FHP and the green curve will show how your battery has been charged and discharged. The negative curve represents the battery charging from solar and the positive curve on the right shows the A power powered your home during peak hours to reduce your electricity bill. Click the grid icon and the purple curve shows negative at around 3 p.m. When solar energy started to feed back to the grid after the battery was fully charged and solar energy was producing more than household needs. With the FHP, the energy imports from grid are minimized and the solar energy is more efficiently stored and used. Click on the solar icon to display the orange curve showing solar energy production. The daytime solar production was used to charge the battery, power your home, and feed back to the grid to earn utility credit. Toggle to the energy display, where you can review the energy production and consumption data by weekly, monthly, and yearly intervals, as well as the system lifetime total. All the data can be downloaded for access to calculate the system ROI and how much you have saved by using the energy storage system and renewable energy. Select the loading rate tab to see how much of your energy consumption came from solar, grid, and FHP across different time intervals. You can select your desired mode, backup standby, 
Once this mode is chosen, the battery will be fully charged as the highest priority and then moved to standby. The battery stops discharging unless there is a power outage. This mode may get charged from the grid while customers in the US who choose to accept the ITC investment tax credit will only charge from your solar system. Self-consumption. Self-consumption is a simple and easy way to maximize your renewable energy use and minimize your dependence on the grid. In this mode, you can set the percentage of battery power reserved for backup in case of outage. Excess electricity generated by the solar system above household demand will be stored in the FHP system. If solar production becomes insufficient to power home loads, the batteries will be discharged in support of the solar system, helping to minimize grid consumption. The reserved power will not be consumed unless there is an unexpected grid outage, while the rest of its capacity will be used for daily cycling. You can also choose to enable emergency backup. When set, the FHP will subscribe to the National Weather Service NWS, power outage information for the installation site. The FHP will receive warnings up to 24 hours in advance of an expected event and prioritize fully charging the battery, then switch the system to backup standby mode. After the National Weather Service sends a notification that the event has finished, the FHP will automatically switch back to its previous mode. Load shifting. This is the preferred mode under a time of use rate schedule, where the utility charges different rates at different times of the day, the day of the week, or the season. In this mode, you can also set the percentage of battery power reserved for backup in case of outage. The emergency backup option can also be selected in this mode. Before you activate the load shifting mode, don't forget to edit the time of use schedule to match your utility plan, which is typically found in your electric bill or on your utility's website. Load shifting provides users with two options for the use of solar power, storage priority and supply priority. In storage first mode, your battery will be prioritized to charge from solar during off-peak hours which means the power will be stored for use when energy costs are highest. Home loads higher than the remaining solar generation produced will be supplied from the utility grid. In supply first, solar power is supplied to the home loads first, while the battery receives solar power in excess of household demand. The basic discharging logic of load shifting is to prioritize the use of renewable energy from solar and the A power battery during peak hours to lower the electricity bill through lower grid usage. The second step is to set the electricity rates. If you cannot find your utilities package, choose user defined. Check the time of use schedule to match your utility rates. Here are the configurations for summer and winter, weekdays and weekends. You can set the peak, off-peak and shoulder periods through the app, which provides up to 10 defined periods per day of any mix of the three types. Smart circuits are an optional function of your FHP. Always ensure that the app reflects the physical setup of the circuits. Smart circuits allow the homeowner to manage unique devices, such as EV chargers, air conditioners, and pool pumps separately from the rest of the household devices. For example, you can set a charging schedule for your EV to be charged during off-peak hours. You can also extend your backup time by turning off smart circuits if an outage extends for too long. Smart circuits also help with a black start as devices connected through them are ignored when trying to restart a system after a long outage. Generator integration is an optional function for households that have a standby generator attached to the FHP. You can use the generator to charge the A power and serve home loads when needed. You can monitor your generator status on this page. Time schedules can be set to avoid noise in the evening or early morning. Click on Backup to view the current system state of charge and to set the state of charge amount reserved for self-consumption or load shifting modes. Backup remaining is the estimated time for different levels of load. The FHP will intelligently analyze your average load consumption over the most recent three days and indicate the expected backup duration. Since FHP will seamlessly switch to provide backup power to your home, you will not even notice there was an outage. Here is where you can review the grid outage history and know that your home was protected.